Welcome to this episode of DIY3dtech.com. In this episode, I've got something rather surprising to show you. So, as part of this mixing experiment, I decided to move on to nylon. Now, I'm using a bridge nylon here. And for those that have tried nylon, you know it can be rather finicky. And so, one of the pieces I decided to do was to mix the bridge nylon with PET G and see how it came out. And I gotta tell you guys, I am amazed at how this turned out. Now, the one thing is with nylon, it, nylon will absorb water and really needs to be dried out. Since I really kind of expected this just to out and out fail, I didn't worry about drying the nylon and just printed it. So I don't know in a time lapse if you'll be able to see the little puffs of smoke as the water evaporates. Um, but the end product is just simply amazing that came out of this. Now, you can see a little bit in here where, um, you know, there was some moisture in the nylon. But all in all, for no tuning, nothing at all, this thing came out rather perfect and the resiliency of this is rather surprising. I think out of all my experimentation so far, this has been by far the best. The combination of bridge nylon and PEG. This appears to be very strong and this is something I'm going to follow up definitely more. And I can see myself using this um, as a... Uh, kind of like go-to for heavy-duty parts because I'm suspecting the wear on this is going to be really good. Now, for those that have tried to print nylon in the past, you know it can be rather difficult to get it to stick and everything else. However, being mixed with the PET G, it seems to stick rather well to the bed. Didn't have any adhesion problems. Flow was good. Uh, you'll see in the microscopic images, uh, flow is almost perfect. There's a couple pieces, and I actually think those pieces um, were left over uh, from prior tests in the hot end because of the color. Because uh, I had just run some black material, I can't remember if it was hips or whatever before this test, and that appears to be what you know kind of co extruded out. Um, but the relative mix of this versus, uh, you know, co-extrusion, as I've talked about in prior videos, seems to be rather minor and more mixing than co-extrusion. Because as you can see in the, um, uh, you know, microscope images, you don't see that typical as we've seen in the past, where you have, you know, a piece of, say, you know, uh, ABS, and then say a piece of PETG or something like that. Uh, where the the extruders have been, you know, extrude, you know, extrude ABS, extrude PET G, extrude ABS, extrude PET G, uh, especially when it got to the top here. And this is one of the pieces that I really watch is this ball because when it gets to the ball, and especially the crown of the ball at the top, what happens is you get real short extruder strokes, and that's where a lot of the the ugliness happens but this this thing again as you can see for the microscope image is really the only perfect one out of a dual extrusion experiment that i printed basically with a perfect crown on it so i i tell you what i'm super impressed by this so this this is definitely getting a big thumbs up by me and this is going to get more exploration by me as far as uh, resiliency as to how it holds up because if I can get the best of both worlds between nylon and PEG, I'm there folks. So, uh, because I've tried to work a lot with nylon in the past and it just really is, it's a great material, uh, very robust, but it's very difficult to work with on several different dimensions. If I can mix it with PEG and get the majority of the properties, uh, this is a win. And so for those out there that have been asking, Joe, why are you doing this as I've covered out in the other video? This is why I'm doing it because this, um, I think is practical. So anyways, I'm gonna do some more testing this in the future. I'm gonna continue with testing other materials with nylon to see what we come up with. But I gotta tell you guys, this has amazed me. So anyways, big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe, you know, do the bell thing over there, swag shop up in the corner, and we'll see you guys where we do some more testing with nylon. Cheers. Please click like below and subscribe to the channel.